Hey there folks, how's it going today? What are we doing today? Today I'm going to show you top three different ways that you can triple a Town Hall 8 with really awesome attack strategies that are not Dragons, that are not Goho, these are super OP, they're really awesome. I'm going to break them down, give you all of the replays, give you all of the pro tips, and that's getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another Clash of Clans video where we're going to be showing you top three different ways that you can triple a Town Hall 8 like a boss. Now, these attack strategies are not used as much, right? They're not dragons. They're not a go-ho. So today we're going to break them down and show you how to do that. Before you get started, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and come on down to my Twitch, Twitter, and my Discord. Live streams, a lot of exciting stuff you don't want to miss out. Definitely come on down. So what's the first attack that we're going to talk about today? Well, this is going to be a go Va ho. That's right. So it's going to be go va ho. It's going to have golems, it's going to have valks, and it's going to have hawks. It's a really cool attack strategy. I actually use it at Town Hall 9 a lot. But today we're going to look at Prune Juice, who's going to show us how to run it at Town Hall 8. That's right. Like a big boss. Let's see what he does over here. So, the idea is you have golems in the front. He's going to pull the clan castle first and get that out and push it to the side. We have two poisons over here. We can use one for the clan castle, two possibly, or we can save them. It really depends. We're going to pull the clan castle to that corner. He will take it down, right? He's going to use a couple of wizards. He's going to use a bunch of stuff. And then golems right from the side. There's going to be a corner entry in here. Notice, corner entry, poison the clan uh, castle, sending a whole bunch of wizards behind. And of course, the golems are doing the tanking. We're carving out a space into this base over here. We're going to use some wall breakers to make sure that we get in. We got a uh, king in the front right there with one of the golems, the other one doing the tanking. Use some wall breakers to get into the base. What are we trying to do? We're trying to kind of get our Valks in. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to clean out that section. The golems are going to continually move into the base, take down that defense, and then rearrange and move with the wizards behind. We're going to send all the Valks in. The Valks do end up taking one of the storages outside versus inside, which is not good, but at the same time, it is good because we ended up aggroing towards that king. Valks will always aggro towards the hero. So they end up raging, going inside. Valks under rage will chew through any wall so easily. And that's what he's doing. Once he gets in here, we're going to have hogs come in as a reinforcements from the side. That's what hogs are here for. They come in as a support troop. A lot of hogs out of the clan castle. If you can get max hogs out of the clan castle, then you can pretty much triple any town hall a base, probably without even needing the rest of your troops. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. If you can get max ones in your clan castle, that's big, strong, you know, you can triple. But even without them, you can triple. We've done that before many, many times. But you definitely want to try to maximize and like get something like max hogs in there. We, uh, we have uh, heal spells to make sure that we get through the last set, the wizard tower and those uh, the giant bombs over there. And that's it. We're going to triple the base. We're going to make sure that we raise the king. We have an extra poison because we didn't need it. There was no skellies that we had to deal with. And that's it. Triple the base. Sometimes I like to save maybe one wizard and one archer or two for cleanup for the back end. If I have some, you know, garbage buildings left over so the hogs don't have to come back and run out of time because this attack could be prone to a time failure if possible. More at Town Hall 9 and 10 levels, but realistically, I bring couple troops for, uh, you know, for cleanup. So this is a really nice attack strategy. Prune Juice Beast Mode. Let's check out the next one. Next up, we're going to take a look at Irfan from the Scrappy 8s doing work over here with the Go Wipe. That's right, Go Wipe. Town Hall 8 Go Wipe? Absolutely. Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9 Go Wipe, Town Hall 10 Go Wipe. Go Wipe is one of the most popular strategies of Town Hall 9 or any Town Hall in Clash of Clans today. That's right. Golems in the front, we have a whole bunch of archers. He sends in four archers in the corner of huts over there to make sure we get them. That's important, really important. You want to do that? You don't, you don't want to run out of time taking out all of the base, you know? So we got golems in the front. We have Pekkas and then wizards, right? Go wipe. The golems, the Pekkas, and the wizard. So we're going to go in. We're going to use rage. We're going to use a poison to make sure that we take down the enemy king in the clan castle. Get that down. And then wizards behind, we're good to go. We have two heal spells here. We're going to continually heal our Pekkas and then the wizards behind. We have golems over there. We have the gang inside. We have a lot of stuff. And then the wizards, of course. One of the Pekkas is walking on the outside, which is a good thing because it's providing some uh, basically funneling and some really, really nice tanking for the wizards behind. The entire, the entire party is collapsing onto the center of the base. This base is not the best in my opinion. I know what they're trying to do here, but when you're running a go wipe, this is perfect because you're able to 
provide that nice funnel. And as you can see, you can even swag one of the heal spells. Really nicely done by Earthon. This is an OP attack strategy. And still, at Town Hall 8, I don't see a lot of people using it. I see him using it at Town Hall 9. I see him using it a lot of places, but not at Town Hall 8. And it's super OP. As you can see over here, Earthon. Beast mode, man. Really nicely done over here. I mean, this is a max 8 versus a max 8. And he absolutely and absolutely tripled this base with the go wipe. This is a very effective strategy and definitely something that you can use along with your dragons and the hogs and things like that. So if you really think about it, there's so many attack strategies at Town Hall 8 that a lot of people don't use or don't maybe know about. This is one of them. Let's take a look at the next one. And last but not least, we're going to take a look at Prune Juice one more time. What's Prune Juice running? An attack strategy that I covered in another video. I'll link that one as well if you want to get a deep dive into it. But this is going to be Golems and Loons. Really, Golems and Loons. Not a lot of people run it, but it's such an OP attack strategy. And Prune Juice is going to show us how to run it right here. Golems in the front, Wizards behind, and Loons come in as reinforcements. Sort of like the Hogs, but from the air, obviously. So he's gonna take a nice wide funnel here a whole bunch of golems right from the side he's gonna sprinkle in the wizards he's gonna throw that nice loon behind to take care of the um to take care of that the the tesla and then we're gonna push into the base nice and easy we're pushing in we're making sure we spread those wizards get all those buildings down the king in the center what is he doing he is slowly getting into the base. He's going to use the wall breakers to break through the first wall, engage the clan castle, poison it, make sure that the bowlers are behind the entire kill squad right down center. And then he's going to rage the whole thing with the bowlers behind. When you have bowlers behind this thing, I mean, you don't even need bowlers to be honest with you. You could probably use any troop almost to get this because this attack strategy really does work. But if you can use bowlers or like max hogs or valks or things like that in there it really helps as you can see get a deep push and then the loons come in and just finish off the rest of the base so if you needed to triple and you have town hall 10 uh, in your clan ask for bowlers town hall 10s and up in your clan if you don't have town hall 10s in your clan ask for other troops you can get a whole bunch of different troops you can get an extra golem you can get a pekka in there that would work really well you can get some valks that would work really well loons would work well as well there's a lot of different ways that you can uh, run this attack but bowlers of course is the most op way obviously right if you're gonna send max bowlers in there that's even crazier so with this attack strategy, what I like about this is it's got a nice kill squad, and that kill squad has got a lot of power because you got those golems in the front. With that, and if you get the bowlers or you pair it with your wizards and your king, even just without even without the bowlers, it's a nice push into the base. It's gonna get a deep one in there. And once you do that, if you can take out, let's say, the you know, wizard towers and maybe a couple of those um a couple of those air defenses. That's where the loons come into place because they can surgically be deployed on the rest of the attack on the rest of the defenses and take them down nice and easy. And that's kind of what Prune Juice does over here. Show us how we can get a nice deep push, finish off with the rest of the base with the loons, clean up, and call it a day. Really nice attack strategy at Town Hall 8. I love this one. Ladies and gentlemen, I just showed you three different ways that you could triple a Town Hall 8 like an absolute boss. Three different attack strategies. Welcome down. Give you all the replays. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Come on down to my Twitch, Twitter, or my Discord. A lot of exciting stuff going on there. You don't want to miss out. And while you're here, check out this video right here. This is a really cool one. And I'll see you there.